Welcome guys to a new Windows 11 tutorial. I'm going to show you now how you can fix um, if you cannot install this updates. I'm going to show you how you can fix this problem more precisely. Precisely, this uh, update that you can see right here. Uh, this update here is not. Uh, it's failing. If it's failing for you as well, uh, it failed for me as well. Uh, it didn't work, and I now it worked successfully, and it was installed. They were installed both of these updates with this code here, this number. So if you're having this problem right now, don't worry. I have few solutions for you. It could work. It might work. Um, so make sure you watch this video till the very end and try all the methods I'm about to show you in this video. And let me know in the comment section if which, uh, if this if it worked or you know just let me know which method work and uh, and that's yeah that's pretty much it. So let's jump right into this video now without wasting any second. The search, search bar, bar right services. Okay, that's another way. Uh, and that's uh, if you don't see here any any like if you. If you're trying to install this update and it's not working, simply you can go here, that's method number one, and just look for Windows Update. And here in Windows, where is it? Win this is what you should see in services. You should see Windows Updates. So yeah, that's what you should see. If what you see is this, this is still Windows Updates. So yeah, just make sure you you start, if it's on manual, make sure it's on automatic and click on start here. Also, so the service status is, uh, is running. You can also disable one time and you can stop this so you can refresh this service and click on, on automatic, you click on start so you can restart this service. And yep, yeah, that's what you have to do. I just wanted to let you guys know that this is still Windows uh, update. And if what you see is this, then that's still good. That's Windows Update. If that didn't work, I have another solution for you. Head over to this website. I'll leave the link in the description of this video so you can go to this website. And here, make sure you type, uh, you copy this link, this number or this code or this text. And if you copy this text, this is the update that's not working for your computer. It's not downloading, it's not installing. If you type here this, um, this update from here, you can install this update manually, which is pretty good. It's really nice. So make sure you click on now on download here and you can install this update. Now, once you clicked on update, you can, uh, you can just install this update, this uh, update that you installed from that you downloaded from here. This app that you download from here. Now you can install. You just have to double click. And uh, I already have this uh, update. That's why it's not working. But make sure you make sure you download and install. It's gonna work just fine. And uh, now you can type this copy and paste this update as well. Click on download and you can install this update as well. You can just click here and then you can click here and just wait a couple of seconds. And if there is a there is a probability because I can't guarantee you this method will fix the problem. But uh, if this method will not work for you, uh, now it's downloading this update. I have another and other methods that you can try. If you click here, if you head over this website, if you go to this website and you click on installation assistant, you can download this installation assistant. And this can help you as well when you want to uh, download updates. Now, once you download this uh, installation assistant, this will tell you if you have the latest version of Windows 11. If you don't have, you'll be able here to install the latest version. Now, another way you can also install um, this. Now, guys, if you tried this method with the installation assistant, still doesn't work, you still have problems with the installation to install uh, this update, these two updates. Um, then another solution is to actually install Create Windows 11 Installation Media. Click on download, and once you install it, you have to open, and this is what you should see. Click on Accept here, and uh, now we just have to wait, getting a few things ready. So make sure you wait, and now we use a recommended option for you can check this and click on Next now, 
and um, just make sure now you now guys just make sure you select iOS file click on next and just uh, select where you want to download this this file click on save I already, I already installed this now you just have to open this uh, folder so let's open this folder now guys make sure you click on this setup click on this setup here all right perfect yes and you just have to open want to help make installation beta want to help make installation better click on next getting updates checking for updates and here guys make sure you uh keep your your personal files and apps you chosen to because you have the option to you have the option to choose if you want to keep your files your personal files or you just want to reinstall windows uh, 11 from really just deleting everything and reinstalling windows so make sure you select here keep personal files and apps all right and now we just have to wait checking for updates will take a couple of second minutes uh, do exactly i the way i said um, but if you do uh, if you do everything if you do everything i told you to do you're gonna you're not gonna have this problem because um, as I said, you just have to uh, select here, keep personal files and apps, and you'll install the latest Windows uh, version, latest Windows uh, 11 version, and everything is going to be all right. So you just have to select here, keep personal files and apps, and uh, Windows, Edge, Windows uh, 11 will be installed again. So that's it. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.